Budapest and the Thermal Bath Hotel. What a classy looking place, and well guarded too. It's time to look sharp and concentrate. A good thing I brought my suit. reservation for two days. And what was the name, please? Mr. Tobias Reaper. We have a nice room for you, Mr. Reaper. Could you place sun here? Okay. Hmm. Looks like Mr. Wolf is in room 202. If you want me to check your mail, just hand me over your room key, okay? I'll keep that in mind. Hey everybody, Bloody Mail, Hitman, codename 47, and we are on the third sections of missions, and this one is called Traditions of the Trade. And it is by far, statistically speaking, the most popular and famous Hitman mission in Hitman in the Hitman franchise. Some people may argue with me, and you know, it's whatever to the beholder, but uh, for the most part, if you look at oh, which what's your what's your favorite mission? Uh, Traditions of the trade, be it in the remade contracts mission or this one, uh, people just love this one because it it is the most classic hit hitman style setting. You go into this very highly um, civilian populated thermal bath hotel and um, kind of just figure out how to get to your targets from here. And you're allowed to walk around in your suit and no one cares because you're just a normal civilian just like anybody else. So it's really, 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 really well executed and just an amazing accomplishment for the IO developers. And it's a beautiful level. I mean, it's gorgeous. Even in this, even in two, year 2000, I mean, it's just absolutely wonderful looking. And the music's so peaceful and tranquil, yet has a dash of sinister to it. It's just ah, perfect. Now, what we need to do is kill France, France Fux, or Fuchs, I call Fux, um, and his brother Fritz Fux, and uh, also find the chemical bomb that France Fux is, a, <laughs> is um, planning to do. I'm sorry, sir, but you cannot enter in those clothes. Please change in the last minute. There are clothes in the in the booth. Um, yeah, but I do. I uh, had to kind of lost my sense of words there because I had wanted to talk to that guy. But um, he wants me to, the client wants me to go and kill Franz Fox and smuggle out the chemical bomb that they plan to release during the UN conference at this very hotel today. Um, so, to get to the chemical bomb, it's inside of the x ray room in the dentist office. And guess who has the dentist's office? Key. Well, the x-ray key. It's the Fritz Fox, the brother, posing as a dentist. And he's going to... There he is. And he's going to pose the dentist to be undercover, and that's where he hides the bomb. So he has the key, so we need to kill him. So you're not allowed to bring any weapons or firearms in this, or knife but you can bring the fiber wire in this level because you have to go through a metal detector as soon as you start. So that prevents you from, you have to really use your head how to get in here. Well, stealthily that is. I'm caught in here. It is certainly hot in here. Yes. Yeah, well, but I must be careful. I have a weak heart, you see. Don't stay in here too long then. Yes, Hitler. Don't stay in there too long. You're gonna, you know, you don't want to get too hot in there. You could die of some sort of dehydration or uh, heat exhaustion. So let's uh, make sure the heat is nice for you and you'll be able to sustain yourself. Oops, that's the wrong direction. Oops.
That'd be a scary way to die. You're not getting through Hitman holding the door, that's for sure. Oh, so sorry, Fritz. So sorry, but you have the extra room, X-ray room key. If you just would have left it, like, on, hanging there, I might have spared your life. Maybe. But, um... If you just look at this stuff a little bit, it's... It's gorgeous. You know, you can go and, uh, take a little swim. Take a little swim. Cool off. Good stuff. But, we're not here to take and relax, we're here to kill friends fucks. And that is our next destination, because that's all we have. We have the last key we needed, literally, the x-ray room key. So let us, um, suit up and get back to room 202, where Henrik Wolf, which is the alias they're using, is staying. But that is where they're gonna stay, because they're not gonna be leaving that room ever again. Hitman just really posed. This game really just sets itself up for uh, death puns. <laughs> Once again, all I have is fiber wire. It is the only thing I brought because metal detectors you have to go through. There's no real way to bypass most of the metal detectors, so gotta be careful with that. However, what we need to do now is uh, find France. Ooh, and look at that. This is where the. Oh, he's gonna take that master key to Bellhop. I need that master key to get into. Uh, a path to get to France. So I need to follow this guy, see where he's gonna use his master keys, which is this right here. So while he's doing that, I'm talking to this guy. What do you want? Can I see Mr. Wolf? Not without an appointment. Okay, some other time then. That is where France is located, but uh, luckily no one cares if I take the master key off of this person's hands. There we go. Okay. Yep, don't worry about me. And we'll enter this room that's not technically our room. Well, this happens to be the neighboring room to France Fox. So. Perhaps we can do a little agility style and get over here. Now, I don't want to jump over this balcony just yet. But at the same time, I want to hide here because I don't want the bellhop to come in here and start cleaning the room and have me out here, which he might very well do. So what I need to do is kind of stay out of view like this and wait for this guy. Hello there, how are you? Yeah, looking at me, baby. Uh, now... Obviously, they're not going to like me getting over there. That's uh, his territory. So I'll wait until he comes back in from a smoke break and uh, do the only balcony jump there is in the entire game, except for the training. So here we go. Don't hesitate any further. This is a pretty sweet jump, by the way. Yup. All right. Time to be sneaky. We're not supposed to be over here, so we need to act quick. So let's whip out the fiber wire. And go! Alright, buddy. Now, I could take your disguise, but uh, I think we're actually going to try to do this level uh, suit only. Because that's fun. I, try, I think I was playing a lot of contracts uh, mode there. I was trying to hold the wrong buttons there. Um, I don't want that pistol, though, because well, once again, you have any pistols here, you're going to get hit. So, dentist business card, don't need that. We just want the Luger. Silenced Luger pistol. And a letter from Pablo. You can read that. And a letter of hotel key for France. So let's put all that back. Grab everything ever. Do not disturb sign, which you're not going to really need because the bellhop's not going to come in here. And um, let's read the letter from Pablo. The camp. 020999. Dear friends. I don't give a shit about splitting the fruit. I want better men who follow orders. Drugs are keeping my, me fit, and I believe that they can keep me on top. Spare me the babble of this old man. If you have any problems keeping your head steady, I can always send you a package of my fine white elixir. She keeps me steady as a rock and sharp as nails. If it weren't for my powder, those, these damn tribesmen would already have killed me. Blood and muscle, Pablo. Obviously, he has reasons to be a, a drug lord. A letter from France. Vienna, 2008-99. Dear friends, I must support the new thoughts on our project. I'm sick and tired of waiting for this old man. As you know, my work needs a steady hand and sharp wit, and I'm not getting younger. Therefore, I support the idea about splitting the fruit. Let's split the fruit while we can and still savor it. Blood and muscle, France. Nope. So blood and muscle seems to be the calling uh, signature that they use. But uh, let's perform the hit. Good night. 
All right, so conveniently placed is the container that is fit to hold a chemical bomb. Otherwise, you don't want to be carrying a chemical bomb through the hallways. So, we don't want to exit the uh, way of the room because that guard will freak out if we suddenly come out of there, obviously. So, uh, let's make sure the bellhop's not here and run. There we go. Good to go. Now, our next step is to get to the dentist office, which is where the chemical bomb is located. I guess he has more than one master key, apparently, because he has another one. Maybe you can want to get one. It'd be cool if he actually went to get one. Never thought about that before. So we want to avoid metal detector detection, so we don't want to go up the elevators or anything. So we're going to go up the back stairway, which is always a perfect place to not get detected for anywhere. All right, we're now here, and we need to get across to the other wing of the building where the commercial areas are. So there's a casino area and conference room, which is funny. A lot of these places are really empty because um, they don't really move anywhere. But on contracts, they do move to different places. So that's kind of cool that contracts remade this one. And I think this one actually, even though this is because it's original, it's hard to beat. Contracts, traditional traditions of the trade is a bit harder. You can't be as easy to get to France. But I kind of almost like it better. But, you know, I like both for different reasons. So we're on the roof here, and we're going to go into... Yeah, it starts to get a little dangerous. Gotta be careful here. There you are. How are you? Mm -mm -mm. So sorry. Don't want anybody to see you, even though they might see that blood spot. I'm not sure if they see blood spots in this game or not, but I don't really mind. Now, we have only one more um, place to watch out for, and that is a guard right here. Luckily, they uh, don't have no sense of uh, spatial proximity, and I can kind of sneak by, holding the briefcase and going to the x-ray room, which is going to lead to the chemical bomb. So let's pack it in. All right, now this is quite a more heavy uh, briefcase now, but we're uh, ready to leave. That's all we had to do. Kill France Fox and uh, <sighs> grab the chemical bomb, which we have now. So we're good to go. If you saw that take close prompt, which you probably didn't know what you did see, you can actually get a bellhop disguise right there, but it's kind of, you're pretty far into, far into the mission if you need a bellhop disguise now. So you can get a bellhop disguise in this, in this mission in... Uh, bring towels to Franz Fuck's rooms, and he only gives you 10 seconds before he throws you out. So, you can actually go in there, walk in, and quickly kill him and run out. But, uh, I don't know, I like doing a suit only when I can. This is about the only mission you can do suit only. Well, some of the Hong Kong missions, I guess, technically I could. The first mission I did. But, it's cool to be able to do a later mission like this in suit only. And, you know, you might be able to, I hope, you can see why this mission is considered one of the favorites. It's, it's just, it's it's different from the wells I just played. There's, I barely killed anybody. I killed two people. Uh, well, three people. <laughs> with, and I used fiber wire for most of the kills. And I uh, did a clean hit with the Luger pistol. But speaking of that, I'm glad you reminded me, everybody. I need to drop this gun. I need to drop this gun before someone comes in here. Because, there we go. I don't care if anybody thinks anything different, because we don't want to get detected by the metal detectors, even though this chemical bomb does set it off too. Now, I have two ways of leaving. Um, I can either leave the um, the back way through the, through the kitchen, which is sneakier, or we can be dramatic and leave through the front door as cops are chasing me. And um, I usually go the back way, because it's just it's sneakier. But uh, let's just make this uh, a little action-y. Let's... Um, Break our cover as soon as we get out here. Go! See ya! If I only had 50 of them in Vietnam, it would still be French. I think his nose is very much like mine. A handsome devil. That would be so fun. His genetic is derived from the DNA of everyone here. All of our strengths, none of our weaknesses.